Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, and we have Robert back here with us this afternoon for his sixth and final adjustment here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. He is actually the second patient this week who came in to see us with a lumbar spine fusion at L5 down to the sacrum, which is quite unusual because they usually fuse L4, L5, but we rarely see him fuse it to the sacrum. So. Uh, this is his sixth treatment here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. He came all the way down here from Virginia to receive this. And I'll let him share with you uh, what his progress has been so far this week in his own words. These are all unedited, unscripted treatments that we do. Well, uh, Dr. Johnson, I mean, his, his adjustments have been great, but he, he hasn't really even just only concentrated on the lower back. I mean, he's he's fixing my entire biomechanical spine and my, and my situation, which is all... From your head all the way down, huh? Right, which is part of the, um, the, the issue that, it is. that you've told me. Yeah, because of the no, forward head posture, yeah. And no health practitioner has ever looked beyond just just my lower back. It's the area just of kind pain. Of, right, it's just been kind of... Or a tunnel vision, vision, really, yeah. Right, right, right. right. So uh, I've been doing... Um, exercises that he's given me and, and one thing in particular I noticed at the beginning of this last session is that my um, my hands are down at the same level which one before of them, one was lower one than the other one because your neck was translated so right. far so I mean it's been it's been great I, I feel just so much better so well, you know, there's a lot of people watching this that are out of state and out of the country watching this, and they go, is it really worth the plane fare and the, and the fees that we charge to come here and receive the evaluation and treatment that we provide here? And you, you paid was, that money to do that. Has it been worth your while? It's, it's, it's been worth it to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't speak for others, but it's just been, uh, and I'm excited about getting home, you know, doing more exercises right. and just improving and you know eventually soon i think i'd have the soreness worked out right that, that have come just from the, from adjustments. the adjustments and, and we've been I'd educating you all week done, long right. too on things to do to help yourself haven't we right so right. so we don't just leave people hanging we send you home with homework for you to do exactly. on your own and things that you can do to improve your own quality of life right. yeah it's well thank great. you for sharing your story with everyone yeah. let's show them how we did that this afternoon robert Let's have you close your eyes and flex your head forward and backwards for me, please, sir. Neutral. Now, look, your hands are exactly even right now. Right. You still got a little right head tilt, but that's not as bad. I think that's that. just been with you for years. Yeah. From your sleeping pattern and probably a little bit of your work stuff, too, sitting at the computer. And when I was young, I think it was junior high. Sleep on your stomach? Well, they, they, they diagnosed me with a slight scoliosis. Mm -hmm. um, and you That's do have a slight coverage here in your spine, and we found that on your initial exam. Right. But it's not pathological, it's functional, meaning it's coming from your posture and your biomechanics. So pathological would be like if you had a birth defect or an abnormally shaped vertebra, birth right. defect, and hem hemi vertebra, right. some other trauma that may have fractured the vertebra. Yeah, nothing. The only thing you've got is a man-made piece of hardware in your spine that wasn't really meant to be there. Right. So mm -hmm. we're working around that. Right. Okay, let's go in your tummy first. Now normally I would put him on the spine manual spinal decompression first. These legs are exactly even. Is there any pain in your lower back here when I do this, Robert? No pain. Just, just a tight. tiny bit of tightness. Yep. But since this is his last visit, I'm going to do his ring dinger last. See, I'm adjusting both of his SI joints, which these are not huge, so we can still get a sliding in the angles of the SI joints in the 45 degree angle that they're in obliquely in the pelvis. There you go. Boy, that's perfect. Yeah. Crack is gonna still love you. I had to be quiet. Somebody would tell me to shut up when I was adjusting patients earlier. You get all kinds of comments. There 
go. Good. Okay, let's turn on your back now. So is it cold up in Virginia right now? Well, I don't know if it is this week, but certainly right now it's last week. 80 here, huh? No, no, not a lot. <laughs> I think it got up to 80 today, didn't it? Oh, 78 or 80, they said. wonder how I treat patients, all you have to do is watch our YouTube videos because I adjust everyone's full biomechanical condition of their human body and everyone's joints anatomically are in the same location. Let's see if you have face that way. And everybody has their own biomechanical configuration, so even though it looks like I'm doing the same thing to everybody, everybody's got their own unique facet angles, zigapopsial joint angles, sites of their discs. Some people have degenerative disc disease, facet arthrosis. And we take all those things into account whenever we're treating someone. I mean, even though Robert's got hardware down in his L5S1 levels, Adjusting him the way I adjust three-dimensionally is not tearing his screws and plates out because they, they're they fused and have been for years now. They're still there. They're right? still yeah, there, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You have people say, oh, you're going to paralyze somebody. You know, that just doesn't happen. Let's come over this way. But right here, head up this way. There we go. I mean, you watched our videos before you came down here, right? Oh, I certainly did, yeah. So, are you getting pretty much exactly what you saw in the yeah, videos? Exactly, there's no, there's no difference at all. Right, well, except for the pressure that I use and the angles and everything. Well, right, yeah. but as far as your... You're getting unique adjustments for you, but they look the same because I'm using the same technique. Right. right. But you get what you see on the videos, is what I'm trying to say. Right, that's correct. There we go. Plus, we have some fun in here too, don't we? <laughs> See, that didn't hurt me a bit. <laughs> okay. But that was easier than your first one, wasn't it? Even though you felt it down there, it was a deep one. Yeah, the first one was just uh, the first one's the worst one, huh? It's just a shocker because you just can't can't know. And then it just about makes you see God, huh? That just first about. <laughs> Saw stars. Yep. Here, let me help you up here. That's a it's a shock to the autonomic nervous system. But that's exactly what we want to do. We want to change your biomechanical configuration so that your nervous system can function at a higher level of efficiency. Okay, let's have you flex forward and backwards again there, Robert. And then neutral. Look at that, my friend. That's the straightest you've been the whole week. Right. That looks Perfectly great. Perfectly straight. Yes, sir. I'm just going to bring you back and look backwards here. There we go. Good. Okay. Now try that very same thing again. Oh, yeah. Smoother? That, that's, a, that's a lot smoother. I think that's the biggest difference. I mean, this isn't this one. It, yeah. Okay. Good. Before and, and after just now. Jane, last thing you'd like to say to our crack addict fans around the world about your experience here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief? Well, I'm a crack addict yeah. now. Uh, and for proud sure. of it. Yeah. Right. Me too. And I'd encourage everyone who's uh, in a similar situation um, if you have concerns, uh, don't have them. I mean, it, it's if you've really got a spine, you need to get checked by a chiropractor and get adjustments because everyone's spine at some point in time in their life is going to go through trauma or it's going to be in a repetitive biomechanical posture when sitting at your desk and working That's and nice. sleeping wrong or sitting wrong driving on your car with your arm 
resting on the center console and leaning to the right or left. I do that. See, a lot of people do those things and they don't realize that those things are cumulative in their effects on the biomechanics yeah. of the spine and pelvis. And they can oftentimes get us into trouble just doing them the wrong way. Well, I'm going to be more uh, Conscious. You know, aware of that now, yes. uh, certainly, because I never even thought of that until you just now said it. Yeah. So anything I can... Yeah. Uh, yeah, all the little things is what makes up the big picture over time. Right. right. Well, thank you for sharing your story with yeah, everyone, Robert. It's been my pleasure to treat you this week and an honor. It's been great. Thank you. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. We'll see you all soon.